Let's talk about why is it hard to diagnose pancreatic cancer? Why is it so hard? Most patients early on have no symptoms. They have no symptoms. Why is that? Well, your pancreas is actually located right next to your spine. So when we do a physical exam, we cannot feel your pancreas. And it's really hard for the pancreas if there's a little growth in there. Most people don't have any symptoms from that little growth until it starts to expand and move into the nerves, which would give you pain, or into the bile ducts where you turn yellow. I mean, it really has to spread for you to start to have symptoms. And my goal is to, if I can, diagnose the disease before it becomes invasive when it's still curable. The pancreas job is, it has two jobs. One is to make the insulin that controls your blood sugar. And its second job is to make the enzymes that help you digest your food. Now, early changes of precancer occur in these little small ducts here. This is the main pancreatic duct right here. It's very large and that's where the juice flows out from. But it's these little side branches, these little tiny branches on the side, like little tributaries to a river. That's where precancer forms. Now, as a physician, if I'm thinking about, I gotta image this thing, how am I gonna see it? A CT scan can pick up something about the size of a dime or a little bit smaller. These branches are so small, it's like a hair. We have a flexible tube called the endoscope, and we can help the patient swallow the tube while they're sleeping. And on the end of it, it has a little ultrasound probe, and we can pass it down into the stomach and the stomach sits right on top of the pancreas and we can get a beautiful view of the pancreas. And that tells me, is there something wrong with the pancreas? This is a yes or no question. It doesn't tell me whether you have precancer, it just tells me is there something wrong, yes or no. So if it turns out the endoscopic ultrasound is abnormal, we talk about getting a piece of the pancreas. The only way I know if you have pancreatic precancer, the only way I know, is if I take a piece of tissue and I look under the microscope. We're pretty close to getting an early detection test. Um, my laboratory is working on making a blood test and there are a program here at UCLA that's working on the salivary biomarkers. That's a, a test to look for early cancer. I think that the data is very promising. I suspect maybe within the next five years, we might have something that's ready to go into the clinic.